Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music, and you're looking at the empty chair, and I'm behind the camera today. I thought we'd take a look around my studio space. It, it's evolved over the years, and I may have too much stuff, but it might be interesting. Well, let's do a little tour. <laughs> So my studio is in what is, I guess you'd have to call it, dining room of uh, my home. It's been pretty easy for me to set things up as I want. But it's a cricket, rickety old house, and so these old wooden doors, that way to a bedroom and bathroom, that way into the kitchen, can be pretty loud sometimes. I don't, I don't mind that much. And you're looking at an untreated corner with hardwood floors my Mojo 61, a little Fender amp that I like. My desk is set up three feet away from the wall. I have an old Ikea desk that I've just been using forever. And in front of it, a Roland A88, which is a decent, but honestly not entirely satisfying controller some sliders there to the left of the blue keyboard. There are double doors there covered with a uh, curtain, which I leave closed most of the time when I'm shooting. I have more curtains, velvet heavy curtains, hanging behind me. Old windows in the corners rattle and make noise and actually let a lot of sound in. This is not a quiet room, although it is nicely treated and does not echo. Over the years, I've done a couple of things to better the sound in the room. The first thing was these ATS rock wool panels. And then things really improved when I hung the clouds. So the clouds are above my um, desk position. There's four of them there and then two very heavy ones in the corners that actually function as bass traps to some degree. Let's go over to the desk and take a look at my setup there. So this is kind of what I see an awful lot of the day. The um, A88 is, a, as I said, a acceptable controller, and I have to supplement it with the little Korg slider module there, which is another USB module. This is, uh, we're looking at an iMac Pro that's maxed out and is a powerful computer that's done me pretty well. Eventually, probably it will be replaced. But in the meantime, I'm fairly happy with it. I run Logic and Digital Performer when I'm working in Picture and occasionally Ableton Live, as well as just hosts of plugins, of course. My audio interface is an old Motu 828X. It's adequate. Um, I use a front end pre system that I can highly recommend. This is two channels, you see it on the top shelf there. This is two channels of uh, audio in the warm audio WA273 uh, through a bus compressor. Love it. For monitoring, I, uh, I rely on the Atom AX7s with a subwoofer under the desk. But I'll tell you what, my mixing game went up really, really quickly when I purchased the Avantone cubes. The mix cubes are not flattering. They reproduce mid-range frequencies. What I've found, if I can get the mid-range to sound good, <laughs> the mix sounds good. Um, over there on the left, you can see uh, my main camera. I'm actually shooting on my phone right now. Why not? And I use the main camera when I'm shooting most of my tutorials. And um, on the right, you can see on the boom arm, the Sennheiser shotgun mic that I use most of the time. Right now I'm shooting on my iPhone and I have one of those Motif plug-in microphones from Shure. It's pretty good and uh, I can recommend it. It's good to just carry around and that way you just have a 
mic. I'm uh, not a giant fan of working in headphones, but when I do, I use the Biodynamics. Highly recommend it. Well, I hope this has been useful. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.